Hi there, no devotion today. I want to take you to the book of Judges, chapter 6. I wanted to read from verse 22 onwards. When Gideon realized that it was the angel of the Lord, he exclaimed, O sovereign Lord, I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. But the Lord said to him, Peace, do not be afraid, you are not going to die. So Gideon built an altar to the Lord there and called it, The Lord is Peace. There's an encounter between the angel of the Lord and Gideon. And Gideon realized that it was the angel of the Lord who is calling him to be the next judge. And he immediately feared because he saw the angel of the Lord face to face. Because he had a fear that he will die because he saw the angel of the Lord. But the Lord said to him, Peace, do not be afraid, for you are not going to die. And so, in gratitude, Gideon built an altar there, and he called that altar Jehovah Shalom. God revealed himself as a God of peace. He himself sent his son, and he is called the Prince of Peace. Isaiah prophesied about the Messiah, Jesus Christ, as the Prince of Peace. Now Jesus, when he came along and he began to preach and minister to people, a time came when he was talking to his disciples. He said this in John's Gospel, chapter 14. Jesus was talking about him going to be arrested going to be killed and God is going to raise him up on the third day. And after talking to them in detail, he comes to a place and he blesses them. Let me read for you John chapter 14. I want to read verse 27. This is what Jesus said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So here is a statement almost like the angel of the Lord made to Gideon. God is a God who wants us not to fear anything else but God alone. Because Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so God expects us to fear him and him alone. But he wants us to have peace with him. It is because of Jesus who died on the cross of Calvary, we have peace with God. In the book of Romans, Paul writes, we have peace with God because of Jesus Christ. So God revealed himself as the God of peace. He desired us to experience the peace that he offers. Jesus made it very clear. He said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. So the peace that we receive from Jesus is the peace that he has with the Father. And he wants to give to us. And he also explains about the peace. He says, I do not give you as the world gives. See, even today, the world is nations are looking for world peace. And they do everything to bring a peace in the world. But yet there is war going on. There is killing going on everywhere in the nations. So the more the people of the nations are trying to bring peace, the more there is problems and troubles. But Jesus offers this peace. He says, I am giving this peace to you. I do not give you as the world gives. But this is the peace that I have, and I'm going to leave it with you. So he says, do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So he is calling us to experience Jesus' peace in our life. If you have the Prince of Peace in your life, you will experience the peace that he offers. Peace with God, peace of God in our life. And this is a great experience when you get to know Jesus Christ in a more personal way. He offers this peace, even though there is so much turmoil and troubles in the whole world around us. We can still experience the peace of God in our life if we have Jesus in us. 
because that peace that Jesus offers is not the peace like the world offers. The world peace can be temporary, but the peace that Jesus offers is permanent. There's a peace that we have with God the Father because of Jesus Christ. That is why Jesus is called in the Bible as the Prince of Peace. He desired us to have a great relationship with Him. He is Jehovah Shalom. The Lord is our peace. God bless you as you experience His peace in your life. Even though the world is full of troubles, you can still enjoy the peace that Jesus offers in your life. God bless you. Shalom.